Sports next year. Set to go. Redden to do battle with Frail. And already plenty of heart shown in this shot. Came in over. As well for South Australia. Put his head over the footy as we're back in the middle again. This is Redden. Nice size of a kid, Redden. Goes in after it. There'll be a bit of scrappage stuff today, a bit of stoppage stuff. New South well wrapped up there. The Empire will have another bounce. Yeah, love the way the big fellas can put their head over the footy like that. It takes the eyes of the recruiting guys. They can get, get it down at ground level as well. And just the size of the Ruckman. Wait till you see them as the day unfolds. We've got Redden at over 200 centimetres. Uh, Mitch Frail at 198. So some genuine ruck size players. Well, unfortunately, he hasn't come up uh, with a little bit of a hamstring problem. So Van Muers is one of the late inclusions. Hadn't played in the early part. <laughs> They've even had uh, injuries to their, their running it, runners. So he's had to run today. So he's also part of their coaching committee. So send a message to him. Ball up. Frail. Redden. Good competitor. Hartlett program the AFL introduced uh, that has more than 50 players from 15 years of age through the way. Hails from Henley. Popular beach in South Australia. Redden back in the ruck. I like the way Redden goes back for his second effort. You know, he's a tall man as you mentioned Kevin but geez he looks for the ball. He looks for his own clearance. Yeah, an aggressive big fella. Had his best game, I think, at the weekend uh, against uh, Vic Country. Just grown with the environment and the, the challenge of playing against the best. I know he had been crook. A long time ago. I was say, years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't realise I would have even had a pro program back then. <laughs> that was Red. when it cost a shilling to get into the footy. Forward here for New South Wales. They really need only their second entry inside forward 50. Around the corner. Actually working with half a dozen scholarship holders on the ground. They're the younger boys, the 15, 16 year olds at that sign. South Australia dominating this first quarter. Good finish will be really important. 33 points is the margin as we get the second quarter underway. The bounce favours Frail, who tries to knock it down to Reed and umpire go bouncing again. Redden. And they've got quite a lot of options up forward, haven't they? With Hines uh, and Johnson, shoe and makers, they've got some size. And their skills are good, aren't they? They're, so they're, uh, if you've got forward running players, they're not missing their targets, so they're making the most of them. It's probably the end of your day, really. Yeah, that looks like the end of uh, McNeil's carnival. Stanley doing his best impression <laughs> of soccer wall. But Tapscott's got Scott, three goals. Pace, yes, he can run the lines, but he was one that wasn't picked. Played for SA. A couple of minutes of the third quarter. They've doubled their score. And they've kicked the last three goals of the game. Redden with the clearance for South Australia. Must be some physical attributes uh, that need to be tested as well as obviously the mental capacity to actually get up and do it. Last quarter for the Carnival in this round, Robin. Game five for Australia. He wouldn't want a repeat of the third quarter performance. No, they were out hunted in that quarter. They were, weren't they? Leading score on the ground at the moment. South Australia out to a 50 point lead. Turn to the centre of the ground. Fenneroli runs it out for New South Wales, and it's a good take by Redden. Over the top, 202 centimetres. Big red. Through the middle. Reed. Long ball. Redden again in the best spot, and some good talking. Told him he had to go for it, and he did. Jared Redden. Kicks to the true centre half forward position. That was a good mark. Clever mark by Hall. He's got... You could see him. He got through in the 30s, I think, in the draft that year. So there was enough. In...